Thank you for the introduction. Um, on behalf of my quarters, um, I'm pleased to share our results on the analysis on nanocoholic state of hepatitis on NASH with the uh, cognitive impairment and cardiovascular disease in people with HIV. So start with a liver background, and we all know fatty liver diseases, including um, nanocoholic fatty liver disease, nephildi, or nanocoholic state of hepatitis NASH, becoming more and more um, uh, significantly uh, affect the head concerns, especially in the rising obesity epidemic in Asia and as, as well. Uh, HIV infection itself, per se, may not be associated with increased risk of nephildi, but studies have shown that um, people living in HIV have increased risk of severe forms of nephildi, for example, liver fibrosis or NASH. So the link between fatty liver diseases, uh, cognitive impairment, and cardiovascular diseases among people with HIV remains unclear, especially the data are very limited among uh, Asia-Pacific region. Therefore, we investigated association on nephil nephildi and NASH with cognitive impairment, and also other uh, sclerotic vascular disease risks among people with HIV in a Thai cohort. So this is a cross-sectional study, and then we used the data from um, 2017 to 2018 from an aging cohort in Bangkok. People living with HIV more than equal 50 years of age uh, would, who are on stable ART and have a fibro scan measurements, including both continuous attenuation parameter or CAP and liver stiffness measurement were included. Um, participants will also receive the assessment of uh, cognitive performance, uh, depression, and cardiovascular disease risk evaluations. We define an FLD using the CAP value, more than equal 248 decibels per minute, and also put in as, say, 288 cutoff at, say, um, uh, sensitivity analysis and advanced liver fibrosis were defined as using liver stiffness measurement more than equal 9.5 kilopascal. And uh, a severe form of um, uh, fatty liver disease, which is NASH, was defined as using fibroscan EST, which is a non invasive marker or fast score more than equal 0 0.67. For those who are not very familiar with the FAST score, I just wanted to elaborate a little bit more. It's a combination of um, CAP and uh, liver stiffness measurement and also the component of EST. So it can um, show the inflammation component and also the fibrosis component of the fatty liver disease. And we define the um, cognitive impairment as the Thai version of um, Montreal Cognitive Assessment or MOCAR, more, less than 25. And ESCVD risk was um, defined as in the mediate if someone have 7.5 to 19.9% um, risk and high ESCVD risk are more than equal to 20%. Regarding the statistic analysis, we use multivariable logistic regression to investigate the association of the advanced liver disease um, on NASH with significant fibrosis and inflammation with the following outcomes, which are the cognitive impairment and 10-year ESCVD risk. And all the models were adjusted for age, sex, BMI, um, employment status, education, income level, smoking, alcohol, diabetes, hypertension, and depression. And we also include a separate models additionally adjusted for HIV-related parameters such as CD4, CD8 ratio, duration of HIV, and ERT regimen. And here is our results. We included 319 people with HIV, 63% were male, and median age was 54. The median duration of HIV was 19 years, and 98% have HIV viral of less than 50 copies per male. 38% of participants have nephildi, and about 10% have advanced liver fibrosis. And we also see 20% uh, of the participants have NASH with significant fibrosis and inflammation. As a steady outcome, 60.2% have the cognitive impairment, and 32.3% and 10.7% have intermediate or high 10-year ACFD risks, respectively. And this is the multivariable model showing the association of NASH with the cognitive impairment. In the multivariable model on the left, you can see the odds ratio was 2.01, uh, 2.11, sorry about that, after adjusting for uh, the variables me uh, mentioned in the previous slides. And it, after additionally adjusted for HIV parameters, the association of NASH with the cognitive impairment remains significant. However, nephildi alone or simple hepatitis was not associated with the cognitive impairment. So additionally, we look at the different domains um, from the MOCA, and you can see the differences between those with NASH and those without NASH. Uh, the domains such as um, executive function, um, orientation, or uh, abstraction were different between two 
um, two goose widow with on Nash. But the differences were quite small, and the clinical significance was uh, not clear because they were statistically significant. And these adjusted means were adjusted for the, um, the variables that I mentioned in the previous slides. Um, additionally, Nash with significant fibrosis and inflammation was associated with increased risk of um, high 10-year ASCD rates, which was defined by 20%, more than equal to 20%. You can see the odds ratio was 2.83. The p value was significant. And the increased risk of intermediate 10-year ACVD rates was observed, but um, the statistical significance was not found. Additionally, a nephildi alone was associated with increased risk of um, ten, high 10-year ASCVD rigs with the odds ratio of 2.94. However, nephildi and an advanced liver fibrosis was not associated with cognitive impairment, uh, even though we included a cutoff for 288 in the intensive analysis. So in summary, in a group of people living with HIV more than equal 50 years in Thai cohort, the nephildi and Nash brother were common. Um, and um, Nash with significant fibrosis and inflammation was independently associated with impaired cognitive function and increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. Uh, possible underlying mechanisms include the systemic inflammation and also insulin resistant and metabolic dysfunction. And it could be also possible due to liver brain or gut brain um, ACX dysfunctions. And there's a some study showing the microbial translocation or microbial dysregulation could be uh, the possible explanation for this um, sharing um, uh, mechanism between two diseases. And there's uh, also some common risk for the sharing between fatty liver disease and cognitive impairment or cardiovascular disease, which are obesity, diabetes, um, hypertension, and dyslipidemia. So in conclusion, we found that NASH with significant fibrosis and inflammation was in associated with um, lower cognitive performance and increased risk of uh, cardiovascular disease, even after controlling for demographic and HIV-associated parameters. Uh, the limitation of our study is that this is observational cross-sectional cohort study, and we didn't include the um, HIV-negative controls, and also the end control or measure confounders could be adjusted. And we also think that there's, there's a need for the more, more robust cognitive assessment batteries um, so that we could uh, know the different uh, severity of the cognitive impairment. And um, Nefeldi or NASH are not liver biopsy proven as well. And additional research are needed to better understand the underlying mechanisms of the impacts of fatty liver disease on uh, cognitive function, including genetics, uh, polymorphism, and, and other environmental factors with cardiovascular disease and cognitive outcomes in people living with HIV. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank all the participants involved in the study and also um, HIPNET 2016 and 2017 and my PhD mentors and supervisor for the generous support. Thank you so much for listening.